Hello, Ender Sword here again, this time with mission number three in the Heart of the Swarm uh, campaign, doing the mastery achievements. Uh, so the third mission for that as well. Scanning, detecting Dominion forces, and a Zerg hive cluster. Yeah, there must be an old hive here. I'm more worried about the Dominion. Ground team, this is Fleet. What is your status? Fleet, our base is set up, and the Trike and Pulse Cannon is almost online. Roger that. Eliminate all stragglers as they work for these coordinates. We'll return for you. Fleet out. That cannon will take out Jim's ship as soon as he enters orbit. Oh you no. You see it coming. What are we gonna do? course for the Zerg Hive cluster. I need an army. So the mission for this one, or the mastery achievement for this one, will be to destroy all the Dominion buildings before the timer runs down on the rendezvous thing. Um, this, this one is, I find it pretty tight. The time is like just enough time to uh, get it done. Um, so I'll kind of show you how to go through that. You only have to worry, obviously, about the buildings that are accessible to you. There's a main Dominion base with their with that laser in it. You don't have to kill those. They make it inaccessible to you at the beginning of the game. It's behind a bridge. Uh, so it's the other ones that you have to get to. Then send them. When they arrive, we'll tear down that cannon before Jim gets here. Yeah, right. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare this hive for combat. The Dominion would have tracked my ship and they'll be looking for me. Hell yeah. So the first thing I usually do is get uh, three drones, rally everything okay. to Kerrigan. I rally the hatchery directly uh, to Kerrigan. So that... Uh, so that basically everything you build just goes right to her. Go and take a poke with kinetic blast at uh, these bunkers to begin with, and take out that hellion. I got you. Just kind of get something really quick and easy out of the way um, that you can do, and still get in time. Get back in time for the first wave of the enemy coming out. And of course, just still droning up behind that as we go. Sending Kerrigan back here. I'll get a gas, and then it would like you to throw down an initial spawning pool. So I will do just that. Let's see these little fellers coming in here. I'm actually going to pull it back to the spine crawler. You can stop it up there if you feel like it. Phone. All right. And then send in Kerrigan back up here. Your brood can harvest Vespine at maximum efficiency if you order three drones to the extractor. I should make Zerglings from the larva at my hatchery. When the Dominion arrives. They drove some of my brood into caves. They will rejoin us if we can kill the Terran soldiers guarding the cave entrances. There are more circlings in this Again, cave. still just droning, droning, droning. This gives you your initial wave of reinforcements. So that's great. I want to get up to the 21 drones pretty much as soon as I can. You take them from drones. Uh, I will get the ground carapace here first. It's uh, mostly about the durability that you can uh, get on your forces, particularly the queens, but it also makes obviously your lings a little bit uh, more durable, which is great to have. And again, going for a few more overlords, just trying to get rid of the uh, potential supply blocking that can happen. Get a little creep spread in the area. It's going to make it uh, easier for you to reinforce a bit later on. And then going for a second hatchery here as well as I'm kind of hitting the point. Uh, 
of having not enough larva. Hey, folks. There's a decent number of air units in this level, which of course is another reason that we want to constantly be pumping out uh, queens here as well. And they do obviously have this ability that they are auto uh, healing everything the whole time. So that's just kind of an auto cast ability. Again, rallying the second, uh, second hatchery right to Kerrigan. I'm gonna throw down a couple more spine crawlers. I don't know why. I I'm in such a habit of rallying things back to the uh, mineral line, even though they're obviously going to be consumed in doing that. Ready for action. But it's because I'm a Protoss player by trade. What is it? And not trying to get too aggressive or anything here. I know that there's a few more waves coming in. You kind of want to move out once you've got a real critical mass of stuff going on. After uh, this upgrade is out, I'm going to be uh, going up to the missile upgrade here as well to make the queens a little bit uh, more effective. You're going to see in a lot of the large fights uh, later on that it's really the... Uh, Really the queens that do the bulk of the damage or have the bulk of the durability um, in what's going to be happening. A couple more drones out and that should maximize my line back up again. Ready for action. And now I can kind of take a poke down towards this uh, second cave. Covering ground. Work to be done. And again, still making queens whenever you can. And then pumping out lings whenever you can as well. And get that one liberated just as this force is about to come walking in the area. Into my spine crawlers. And they will get through those if I just leave them. I believe. Actually, they may not. They would have at least taken out the next one, and I think been uh, been cleaned up. On the same page. Again, just constantly be making making more queens, doing what you can do. Move command in, make sure that you get uh, good surrounds on things. And clear them out. to the front again. Here I know that there is an area where you get where you require an additional spore crawler, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, what I just did there. And once you've got a really good number of queens like this, now it's kind of time to counter push against this wave. Pick off one of the ones in the back. Didn't make it very far towards the hive cluster. And you can see that little air wave, I'll cut back to it in a second, is exactly where I'm putting those spores. It's obviously very predictable. It's the uh, same with like anything like this, that there's just one set of things that everything uh, does and they do it at the same time in the same way over and over so if you just kind of prepare and have things in place uh, for that type of attack now all of a sudden I don't have to turn around and go deal with that or divert any forces off uh, to deal with things like that. I'm 
go with a bit of the principle here again that uh, you really only have to get things burning. You don't actually have to bother to kill the full thing. So just to save a little bit of time, I'm going to uh, do that. Get everything actually burning. And then I can go back home. Kind of want to distract everything here. And then going for the last little bit of an upgrade there. You're going to get natural reinforcements out of these caves. So that's awesome good angle of attack just to show on the mini map that that uh, is not needed all sense up over there just so that it's clear to people if you kind of tune in that uh, that has burned down See, I've got actually this. Uh, I don't think I've done it this well yet uh, in terms of how much time I'm gonna have, but I'm gonna have plenty of time uh, left here. So you can see, you can easily, I guess, do this within 90 seconds. I think the first time I did it, I ended up like 15 seconds left or something at the end of this, but uh, gonna have everything obviously dead here now. And that is the last of the buildings. Again, just going to go back to show that that is, in fact, the case. And as I pull back to defend my base, but you don't even really need to defend, to be honest. You can let your base pretty much die down to the last building. So if at the last few moments you have to just abandon everything, go ahead and do it. It doesn't actually make any difference. Everyone's died here. This is Kerrigan. Sweeping. Pushing ahead. Just to verify that these are in fact dead. And they are. And we're going to get the reinforcements down in uh, in 10 seconds. So again, if I didn't have the achievement already, that would be showing up there now uh, to say that I had, in fact, done so. And with the checkpoint reached and this little wave killed, I'm going to have the Nidus coming up all over the place. And from this point on, it's just going to flood you with units, and I don't think you can, uh, can actually lose from this point. Your forces in 
Also now it gives you control of that little fun key to select all your army at once. And you can see this bridge is here now, so the Dominion structures before the rendezvous doesn't count anything beyond this bridge. The bridge isn't actually open until after the rendezvous happens. It would be a little unreasonable to expect you to come here and, uh, and kill all of this stuff as well. So these structures over here don't matter. You can just go right after the uh, pulse cannon and that's not part of the achievement or anything like that. So that's all you gotta do. It'll give you a summary at the end. If you've missed out or uh, did miss a building or anything like that, it's gonna tell you about it. Kerrigan, 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 you're you're always gonna be the queen. We will await your return. So there's that and you can see here well it tracks the number of kills, but it does tell you number of structures destroyed before Nap Tools arrival, thirty-four out of thirty-four. Uh, so if you're having trouble with that, it'll tell you uh, how many you're missing or where they are. So on to mission four.